Komogaro Complexity Using Prologue, Part 6. This is, again, part of the Deconstructing Dembski series, where we are refuting intelligent design. So, please join me over at the terminal. Okay, in this episode, we're going to be talking about output. How can I print out things on the screen here? Now, Prolog uses a rather old-fashioned way of doing this, but um, here's how it is. There's, there's two predicates that it uses. First one is write, and then an ln at the end. Write, it's pronounced write on. And uh, it means write whatever I tell you to write, and then go on to the next line. All right, so let me demonstrate how this works. Uh, this is one thing to be printed. Okay. Notice I enclose whatever I want to be printed in these single quotes here, right? And then I hit my period and hit return. There we go. And see, it just appears on the screen like this. This is something to be printed. And notice it went on to the next line, right? So if I want to uh, say I want to do things on, on a lot of different lines, like this. First line. Right. Oops. Right. L. See? It uh, writes the first one on the first line and then puts the second one on the second line. Very simple, right? No big must no fuss. The second one is write without the ln on it. So here's how this one would work. So for example, let's say I want to write two things on the same line. Okay, so these are both going to be written on the same line. So basically, uh, the difference between write and write ln is write just puts it out and write ln puts a uh, new line after the end of it. Okay? Very, very simple. Okay, so suppose I want to, by way of illustration here, suppose I want to print out a uh, tic-tac-toe board. Maybe I want to write a, a prologue program which plays a game of tic-tac-toe. Okay, so we'll represent it like this. We'll, we'll represent uh, blank spaces with uh, periods, and we'll represent like a move by X, something like this. So X goes into place. So, so, here, so try this on for size, right? Let me write a uh, blank board first. Those single quotes. Okay, so this is our blank board. This is the board at the beginning of the play. Okay, now say X goes first. Uh, we can represent the board with a X marked in a spot. Say X goes in the corner there. Now see, X has put a put his mark there. And now say O goes next. O will put it in the middle, say. See what I mean? Very simple, right? Okay, say we want to write a program in Prolog which plays tic-tac-toe. Well, we'll probably want a routine which prints out this uh, board here, right? So what we do, we do the same trick as always. We have a query on the command line which prints out what we like. So what we do is we select that query. We copy it. We go to our text editor. Uh, we paste the query in. And then we give it a name. Okay, so we'll, we'll call it like a print blank board. And uh, this one doesn't have any, we, usually, usually we put some variables here, but this one doesn't have any variables, so we just skip the variables. We put our little next symbol here, right? And then we write it out like this. Save it, compile it, consult it. And we go back here now, so we say print blank board, and we get our blank board. Very good. So here is a program which prints out a blank tic-tac-toe board. Oh, by the way, tic-tac-toe, in case you haven't guessed, uh, you might know it as knots and crosses for you uh, British types. Anyway, <clears throat> you finally are ready, after six long and boring, arduous lessons in prologue, to find out what the heck this Komogorov complexity thing really is that we've been talking about this time. So here we go. What the heck is Komogorov complexity? Okay, it is the length of the smallest computer program which prints out X. That is the Komogorov complexity of X. Uh, again, many apologies to Kitan and Solom Solomonov. Kitan uh, and Komogorov actually in, in, <clears throat> invented this about the same time. Solomonov uh, invented it a, a few years earlier, back in the 60s. Okay, so... That's the score, right? So how do we count this anyways? Well, every single character counts, including blank characters, 
including this is like a tab character here. You just count up all the characters that are here, add them together, and that's it. That, that would be the Komogoro complexity. But remember, it's not the small, the length of the smallest computer program which I can think of. It's the length of the smallest computer program that there actually is. So let's, let's think about this. Okay, how can I make this computer program actually smaller than what it is? Well, the obvious way is, right, well, this is like kind of verbose here, right? So let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of that blank space there. We'll get rid of these tabs that are here, and uh, there we go. So now it's now it's a lot smaller, a lot shorter than when it was, right? But we can do even better than this, right? Now, here's a uh, here's a mystery. What we can do is notice we're doing the same thing three times here. This is a pattern, right? This is a pattern that we can get rid of. How do we get rid of it? Well, we can make another short computer program. Say we call it L which just prints out one of these guys, all right? And uh, then what we can do is instead of calling it three times, let's make another one here, let's call it Q. Q just calls L three times, all right? So here's another computer program. Let me put it on the same line. You have to put a space here. But notice how much shorter this line is. Let me just highlight it here for you. Notice how much shorter this line is then this line, this line actually even wraps around to the next line. But they do the same thing. So let's test it out just to make sure. Uh, buffer, all right? So P, excuse me, P prints out a blank tic-tac-toe board and Q also prints out the exact same thing, all right? But Q is a lot smaller than P. So I actually think this is about the smallest uh, program which will print it out. It's actually one that's smaller, but uh, you need to know more of Prolog to do that. But but anyway, this for, for what you know of Prolog, this is the smallest one that actually uh, prints it out here, right? Okay, so, and notice what's going on here. This is just, you're taking all the redundancies out. You're, you're identifying sub-patterns that are repeated in here. And in fact, that's kind of the definition of a pattern, is something that repeats itself, right? So at any rate, that's it. That is Komogorov Complex. Now you might be wondering, what's the big deal? Why is the length of the shortest computer program which prints out X? Why is that an interesting number? Well, as is my custom, the best way to answer this is with a homework problem. Yes, so let's uh, do homework number five here. I remember Nicholas Caputo, the guy with the golden arm, right? Uh, he was a Democrat, and he, he quote-unquote randomly chose to put the Democrats on top 40 out of 41 times, right? So this, say, is the sequence of his, uh, his picks here, right? Well, here's the score, okay? Answer these two questions and you'll know exactly what the big deal is, okay? What is the shortest computer program that you can write out which prints out this series of heads and tails, okay? Um, and we'll have a contest, okay? Whoever can get the shortest one, I'll, I'll mention them and bestow eternal glory on them, okay? And now the second part of the homework. Flip a coin 40 times and record the heads and tails and see how short is the shortest computer program you can think of which prints out the sequence of heads and tails that you've got, okay? If you do this, you'll know exactly what the big deal is, okay? So answers uh, next time. Thanks a lot.